I was at a store one time, probably like five, six years old. I remember it so much because of this. Mom, can I get that? And she's like, no, you can't. So then I stole it. I grabbed it, put it in my fucking hoodie, walked out with it, opened it in the car thinking she wouldn't know. She would hear it open. And she made me return it that young. I thought I was going to get fucking arrested and shit. And you took it back? You didn't even keep the steal? No, dude. She made me take it back and then go it return does, it. But I stole it. I got away and I took a sip out of it. And then she Damn. caught me. Lance does that seven times at grocery store. Hey! One time on prep, I was craving something sweet when I was at the grocery store on prep. So I went down to the fucking sugar free whipped cream and I grabbed one out of the fucking thing and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> You guys are psychopaths. I would do that when with he, the pastries. I would grab the when, donuts and eat them. <laughs> of course you would. I used, to go to, to I used society. to go to Quick Trip and grab one of the little glazers and just pop it in <laughs> and go to the back. Clip this shit. Clip this shit. You can't incriminate yourself. <laughs> Welcome back to the D2 Podcast, wait, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. This is... Wait, wait, God wait. damn it! No, no, <laughs> the no. fuck you do that for? Hold on, I'm gonna give you <laughs> the something. aura just dropped. You're, this is perfect timing. You're gonna read this. Is this the disclaimer? No, this is a, <laughs> this, the this is this is this the, is a UFC intro for you to read. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing at five foot ten tall, weighing in at two hundred twenty eight pounds. He's the number one customer at McDonald's, the snack king, the Cape Crusader, Zach Blachek. <laughs> and now, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at six foot two, weighing in at 220 pounds, he's the man with the plan, the lord of conspiracies, the guy who can talk to anyone about anything, Nick Justice. <laughs> who the fuck wrote this shit? <laughs> Keep going. Next, fighting out of the green corner, standing at five foot eight and weighing in 178 pounds, 187 pounds, he's the relationship maestro, our cheeks con... Condesor. Condesor, jack of all trades, master of the same, Lance Hefner. I'll take it. <laughs> and finally, fighting out of the yellow corner, standing I'll at five it. foot ten, weighing in at two hundred and forty-two pounds. Yeah, you little He's the hostess, of, the hostess with the mostest and the beast who brings the heat and has a vagina. Zach the Vulcanair. I remember that being written in there. No, that's in there. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble on the Dumbbells and Doobies podcast, where the conversation never stops and the energy is always high, baby. That was dumb. that was rock and roll, Holy dude. I'm shit. sweating like a motherfucker yeah, just by right. doing that. Yeah. Woo! It was winning the fight. I was actually though. panicking that I was gonna try and read that, so I'm glad you wanted to t intro it because I was like, yes, I don't have to. Well, do I was that. just gonna <laughs> intro like, hey guys, I'm back. I know. <laughs> that was better, right? More energy. Yeah, that was more energy. I like that. Sweating. We warmed you up. Yeah, bro. Look at my face, well, man. Welcome the fuck back. I mean, hell yeah. God, we have. Damn, we missed Nick, your ass. Obviously, everybody knows Nick Justice is back in the house. I'll be back and then I'll be gone. <laughs> And After then he's gone. Gone next week. After a hard fought journey, I will say. But not done. Journey ain't done, baby. Came back from your quest. Not back. He's refueling. Yes, yeah. refueling. He's recharging right now. He yeah. come, he's he's got the sword. <laughs> he's <laughs> sharpening it every night. Valley's like, "What are you doing?" Battles in seven days. <laughs> I go back to war. It's been fucking wild, man. It's been wild. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels, dude. It feels really good to be back in Milwaukee after yeah. being gone for so long. So, like being a, I was gone in Georgia for a week for the first show. Yep. Came back for like five days, was in Tennessee for seven days, and then stayed in Tennessee for another 12 days for the second show for Junior Nationals, um, and then came back. Yeah, and then, dude, just being – the day I got back to Milwaukee, I felt so good to be here. Back like in it, home. Yeah. Bro, I like walked in the home. Dude, the first thing I did was walked in, put my shit down, started a pot of coffee, went to the bathroom – Got on the squatty potty, took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it felt so damn good. I was like, yeah. finally. That That's first poop home. Right? Yeah, That's bro. Travel is That's like, hilarious. oh, Thank yeah. God I'm safe again. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Touch base. Dude, yeah. in my tr dude, my traveling, <laughs> back from Junior Nationals, my traveling schedule was so fucked. I didn't even yeah. tell you guys, like, the full thing, what happened. What was going on? So, Chattanooga Airport is, like, super small. Yeah. Um, so, it's not international. Um. But, you know, they have like, I think they have four or five airlines that fly out of there. Oh, damn. And I didn't know that my flight that flying back was the last flight there. So I kept getting notifications. It was delayed two times. So then on my way to the airport, it was delayed for a third time. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it was delayed by like an hour and a half. And it was uh, delayed because of weather. Not in Tennessee, but in Charlottesville, where my connecting flight was back to Milwaukee. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm good. You know, this is uh, the day after the show. I had I spent, had a great day with my family. We went hiking. We had a shit ton of food. I had a great training session that I actually puked at the end of because of all the fucking sushi I had for my pre-workout meal. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, and so I get to the airport, all my stuff, and I'm just dripping in sweat, dude. Fucking like oh, I'm hauling all this crap. I get to, and I'm the only person 
like at the kiosk trying to get my uh, uh, my boarding passes. And I'm like, ma'am, it won't let me get my boarding passes. And she's like, well, you're late to your flight. And I'm like, no, I'm not. It was delayed three fucking times. You know? And she's like, well, you got to be here 45 minutes before the initial boarding time to get your, all your bags checked, and even if it's delayed. And I'm like, uh, how was I supposed to know that? So then I'm like, well, and I have clear, so I pass all the lines. So like, I don't got to wait through all the lines, nothing. I just go right through. I have that too. So nice. So, so nice. nice. So then I'm like, ma'am, is there any way that we can take all my bags, get them checked on another flight for tomorrow, and I get on the flight and just have my backpack? Like, that's all I need to get home. Yeah. She's like, no, no, this is what we're going to do. I want, okay, we, this is the last flight going out of Chattanooga. We're going to try to call these other airlines. We're going to see if you can take a bus from Chattanooga to Atlanta or Chattanooga to oh, Nashville gosh. to get another flight. And, dude, I shit you not. I called every airline in Atlanta, every airline in Nashville, to, and I was f- trying to find any connecting flight. I was trying to find connecting flights from Atlanta to Minneapolis to Chicago, and then I, w- I would have fucking Ubered from Chicago to M- Milwaukee. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah, to be yeah. home, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally was like, okay, what if I got one to Madison? What if I got one to Mosinee, which is a small-ass airport in northern Wisconsin? Right. You know, all these things. Nothing. That's crazy. Uh, nothing. No planes. So then I'm like, this is great. This, this is fucking awesome. And I'm like, it's not that... I. My flight was delayed. Like they gave me a refund. Event, uh, thank God. That's nice. Um, the so then I was like, "Well, what the fuck do I do?" So then I go back to the rental car place, mm-hmm. and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna drive all the way to Milwaukee tonight." That's what I was thinking. I'm like, "I'm just gonna fucking drive straight through. Thing. I'm gonna go f- fucking ten hour drive. I can do it. I'm just gonna smoke cigars the whole way. Yeah. That's what keeps me awake when I'm fucking I do right. long drives, smoking cigars." So then Rally like calls me and. She like calls me, asks uh, what was going on because I told her like all my stuff was fucked up with the flight, and then <laughs> she's just she like spoke sense into me, and she's like just go back, get a hotel or get another Airbnb, and I was like okay fine, you know you're right whatever because she had already started driving back. I would have drove back with her, and I, I would have drove back with my family, but I already had my flight, but I didn't know all this shit was gonna uh, get fucked up, and uh, thank God it it was like perfect timing because the Airbnb that Cam myself. Mitch, who does is owner of Gilco, and Kaylee, his wife, who competed too. Um, they had one more night in the Airbnb. So thank God I got I could, didn't have to spend a uh, night at a hotel. I got a flight out the next day. Mm, nice. um, but our Airbnb dude was in a very very sketchy place. Yeah, yeah. Like our building, like the building was fucking beautiful. Like it was a brand new home. Yeah. Okay. And Mitch was like, "Yeah, dude, like you can just stay with us for Junior Nationals." He was showing me pictures of it. And uh, great. And I was the first one at the Airbnb because they were driving up from Georgia uh, three days off from the show. So I get done training and I get to the Airbnb because I had another Airbnb across uh, the city in Chattanooga, which was fucking awesome, too. Um, but I, you know, want, instead of just driving all the way back and forth for Cam to look at me, I just like I was stay with him. They had an extra room. Yeah. I'm trying to find where this place is. and It's not bringing me to the Airbnb. It's bringing me to trap houses. Oh, oh my god. Dog, and when I say I thought I was going to get fucking mugged, I thought I was going to get fucking mugged. I'm driving my little Toyota Camry rental car, <laughs> my windows down, and all these fucking black dudes yeah. sitting on the porch with their wife beaters on, fucking smoking oh, fuck literally that. coolers and in these coolers they probably got fucking meth and shit in there just selling it and fucking homeless people walking everywhere. And I'm like, "What is going on?" So then I call Mitch, I'm like, "Mitch, you I don't did you book an Airbnb or like did you get like this is not it?" Right. He's like, uh, what are you talking about? And so he's like, dude, it should be right there on the corner. He sends me a screenshot of the Google Maps on the corner. There's no fucking house on the Google Map. Oh, and shit. I'm like, dude, I think we got fucking scammed. And then I like finally pulled back around. And then it was just like the house was n- built so new that it hadn't shown up on maps yet. Mm-hmm. So then I finally get in there, get out of my car. The first thing I grab is the PS5 from the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't leave that. In the car, thank right? God, though. But thank God I flew with my gun. So I was I was in Tennessee with my gun the entire time. Yeah. Um. So I flew with my gun and thank God I had you that. It? Oh fuck yeah! I could bring yeah. it with the case. Yeah. Um. And thank God, dude, because like I'm telling you, sun up to sundown, flipping bricks. Yeah. Like I'm talking. I I woke up at uh the day after the show at fucking five a.m. because I couldn't fall back asleep, and I went to the gym to do cardio. Five a.m. Yeah. They're out there fucking cars pulling up. They're giving f- doing drug yeah. deals. All the time. We heard fucking gunshots. Oh, dude, it was wild. That's funny. The dog's That's barking. crazy. It was fucked. Yeah, I don't know. Aaron's probably... Oh, okay, okay. But anyway, that was like the later so half of my trip. Okay. That's, That's crazy. That's a lot of fucking headaches. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like going yeah. from like not being able to get home versus yeah, driving dude. to the fucking ghetto. And- but like, I just wanted to be home, dude. It was such a fucking buzzkill. Just, you know, after getting second, I felt defeated, you know, um, even though it's a very, very big accomplishment. 
just yeah. feeling defeated and want, and like on top of that, my gut being all fucked up from the food that I was having. I felt like shit, you know, like my body's trying to find homeostasis again because my sodium's way the fuck up here, yep. you know, after the show and like my emotions were all high and stuff and um, it was just, but like finally it worked out, got back here and uh, Rally came back the day the day that I got back and she spent, she left a couple days ago, so but yeah, anyway, people, I'll kind of condense it for you. Uh, first show of the season in Georgia. Um, y'all didn't hear about that one, really, but uh, that one we got a fucking shafted decision on for my judging. Yeah. Um, that fucking Just broke dicks. the internet and yeah. still is breaking. Bro, the amount of people I'm surprised I at get Battle the River. Get goobed. Dude, Goob, I, I met Goob and Goob was telling me about it, bro. Oh, bro, bro Goob literally. Video. Okay, so after Junior Nationals check ins, I check, I check in and stuff. And I'm walking back, and uh, I see Cam, and then uh, uh, Tay, our ph- photographer, and then I see this little short fucker next to Cam, and I'm like, "Who's that?" I'm like, "Oh, that's Goob." So I walk I'm up, sure like, "Oh, what's up, Goob?" Nice. Oh, he's pretty short. Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, what's up, man? Nice to meet you." He's like, "Man, you look wild. I've been seeing pictures of you, dude." And um, so we're talking, and he's like, "You did that show in Georgia, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Dude, I almost did a video on that one, but I really didn't want to get on the bad side of the IFBB or NPC." Oh man. And I'm like, "I'm like, dude, you should have done a video do it. on that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The mafia. But anyway, yeah. that show broke the fucking internet. I'm still getting comments on that post, yeah. you know, to this day. Yeah. Um, that shit's going wild. It's got hundreds of thousands of views. Um, but anyway, I, I was telling him earlier, I needed that loss, you know? Yeah. Like, I needed a loss. I needed to have a lot of momentum going into my first show and then that momentum come down. And I needed to carry momentum through a loss instead of a win. Because I think you learn a lot more through that instead of, um, you know, ca- keep carrying momentum through win, win, win. And then once you hit with the loss, you're like, well, fuck, what do I do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that definitely helped. Um, Probably helped you stay locked in. You got dude, f- I had so much fire going into the second show. Yeah. It was yeah. it was wild. Um, and then Battle of the River show was awesome, too. And uh, it was I was like in my own little camp down there in um, Tennessee for Battle of the River show. It was really nice. I had my own Airbnb, own fitness center awesome. every day, bro. This, this, was my, this is my fucking schedule every single day. I'd wake up, yep. check in with Cam. You know, take my supplements, pin my fucking gear, go right down to the fitness little mini fitness center, cardio, abs, right outside, strip down to my underwear, jump in the pool. That's you know, awesome. by nine o'clock, jump awesome. right in the pool. And it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Once was, you have a routine down, yeah. it's, it's game over. So relaxing. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then it, um, it was on the top of a mountain too, so it was super easy to get my steps in. I'd just hike down the mountain, hike right back up. You know, it was yeah. just like sweating like a motherfucker day in and day out. You know, big shocker for me. Um <laughs> And then, uh, but yeah, and then after that, it would just be like every single meal. I've never been so diligent with my meal timing. Yeah. Like my first meal would be by like nine o'clock. Second meal would be by 11. It'd be my last meal would be by eight o'clock. I'd be in bed by fucking nine thirty ten. 10. Yeah. And it was very, it just felt so good to be locked in that much. But then between Battle the River and Junior Nationals, it was like, it was kind of like too much because I had so much moving pieces going on and stuff. But um, anyway, long story short, people. Second at my first national show, I was very, very happy about. Um, still pretty pissed off that I didn't get it, but there's things that we can change that we've already <laughs> changed going into universe next Tuesday. I leave, so super excited! Yeah, nice. yeah, we're really excited for you. Long winded, I'm still sweating. It's fun, yeah, uh, it was fun watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watching that was fun. Watching we had that like was a, a blast, dude. We had a live stream party. We yeah, had a live yeah. stream party. We had a great here. Friday, that was yeah. a great Friday. Aaron, Aaron, in the pen, having coffee in that video, you can hear Aaron going like, Nick, come on. <laughs> Even she was hyped. Like we were all just leaned forward. We like we were like we heard it. <laughs> That's when they awesome. announced third place, we were just like, oh, we yeah, were talking. Yeah, yeah. We were talking. Uh, we because we watched pre judging at mm-hmm. his place on the big TV, and then we went straight down to the pool, and it was such a tight, fun battle because we were like Nick. Nick is gonna like fight for this one. Oh yeah, and it was so fun because you could the tell the entire you were, time we were at the pool. And we the were whole just time like, at the pool, I know what's gonna happen. we're like. <laughs> He fucking did it. He did it. We're like, oh, but that guy looked good. He he could fucking get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back and forth. We, it was the most anxious time. I've been to like yeah. watch it. I kept looking yeah. at the time. I'm like, damn it, it's still only like, <laughs> it's only like two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing football. i be like, oh, it's only two thirty. <laughs> oh, it's only three. Yeah, yeah. And then finally we, we got to it, it and it was so fucking fun. Well, yeah, it was like time. between um, that was the most competitive show I've there's seen. There's a lot of good people that were there. Like sometimes pro shows are blowouts and you kind of know like right where it's going. Like 
that was competitive, yeah. good amateur. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought all the overall winners for each class were brought nuts. like a really impressive fucking package. They just worked crazy our ass structure. too. They were yeah. big classes too. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. crazy yeah. sized classes. Some yeah. of those classic guys were fucking nuts. So for finals at junior nationals, there was only ten of us that showed up because the other fucking I think the other six or eight didn't even make top six and they just didn't even show up they're like yeah see you later yeah I wouldn't yeah, yeah no, no I did that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know and then we, we went and stuffed our face the, the guy was like yeah you have to come back later I was like <laughs> yeah fuck you <laughs> not a chance yeah yeah <laughs> eat a, eat a <laughs> yeah, uh, when you don't know yeah. like when you know you're not competing for it like yeah yeah, yeah. you were like it's time to go. Like you knew that you had to bring your all in that finals to yes. like give them one last show. Well, yeah. dude, it was wild because like um, between prejudging and finals, so I get back, um, pop some magnesium glycinate, put my feet up, and then took a nap right away. Yeah, and I took a two hour fucking nap, and yeah, I, just, I just zonked the fuck out. Um, so That's before right. prejudging, three, two and a half, like two meals in, and then a little bit of uh, almond butter and shit, I was like two nineteen before prejudging, yeah. dry. Damn. After my nap, I woke up at two sixteen point four. Oh, with no dyes, I nothing. Bro. I just flushed and body just like just body like, relaxed. <sighs> yeah, so that was wild. Um, and then getting back to uh, and then I was like, and I stayed off my phone pretty much all the way up until finals until I got to the venue as you should as a, yeah. And I just wanted to no chill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was just like chilling and stuff. And then I was like looking at some of the photos that were posted online, and I'm like, damn, I actually like I, I had more confidence than I thought I had the guy. Um, because he had no legs no. and my legs are fucking huge. Your legs were huge from the back. Dude. Yeah, dude. So then I was like, I was like, dude, out. even though they're not judging the leg musculature and condition, they're judging the proportion. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's going to stick out. Right. And then when I was talking to Attila, she, Attila, uh, Tyler Mannion's, uh, soon to be wife, she was saying like, that's one of the reasons why it was a one point decision is because of my legs gave me that one point bump. Um, Which that it proportion. should. Yeah, yeah. You can't reward, like, like there was a couple people out there that had, like, pretty baggy shorts, and I'm like, that's not a good look. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, not like, at all. I get, yeah, it just, when you come out and you see a huge quad coming out, yeah. it's not like you can judge that hardcore, but it is such a better look. It stands yes. out. Yeah. It stands like, there was out. one dude that went out there, and I swear yeah. to God, his calves yeah. were the same size of that <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. I literally looked at Lance. I was like, "That is bad, bad." That's terrible. Like it was a stick all the way down, and wow. then just huge shoulders. Wow, I was like, there were terrible gross. look. I gross. felt like there were a decent amount of guys that like didn't have like big quads, at least in like the men's physique. But like, yeah. you don't realize how much that stands out when yeah. it's like when you're that dominant. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Wise, yep. And like, I feel like guys don't really think that it'll hurt them. But like, when you mentioned that, that was like one of the first times. That like, when he brought it up, I'm like, "Damn!" I'm like, "That really sticks out like a sore fucking thumb." Mm -hmm. Like that was, you know what I mean? That for was for like, sure, for sure. Because I've always just seen guys like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like some guys don't really have legs and men's physique, but they get yeah. such small fitted board shorts yep. like that. Uh, we saw that. Did you see the one dude for that was like Asian for men's physique? Oh, yeah. yeah. When he would turn, like we just kept saying, we were like, "Fuck, man!" You know, like these guys have like clearly like eight to ten pounds. Did of he have tattoos? He had tattoos. Ah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think, think so. so. Oh, he has like okay. really spiky hair. Oh, okay, okay. He had yeah. like a blue and white kind of board short. Okay. But he would turn and his waist was so small. Yeah. We were like, fuck, dude. And he was fighting for like a top three spot in his class. Yeah. And there were a ton of dudes that had size on him. But even him, I didn't feel like he had legs, but his board shorts were just so fucking well fitted. Yeah, yeah. That was something I was wondering. And so, I was like, can you get sizes that small? Or well, like, Chula, yeah. Chula custom makes mine. Though. You can make yeah. you can make them small, but the big thing is you have to have a quad to show. To have to have something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you must be not training but them at all. It goes to show that. there was a lot of crossover from classic physique and men's physique. A ton. And a lot of the classic guys were doing well in men's physique. I know, but shit they, in classic. Because they have big legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, like the one dude took two pro cards. The one yeah, dude was, was like top that first three. first class? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one dude was like top three in classic physique and then top two in men's yeah. physique. Yep. Like they're rewarding leg size. Just, For sure. Yeah. It was, Which is good. It was uh, it was just really fun, dude. I don't it know. It was a like, fun show. That, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I've uh, I, I'll Open I'm gonna suck. use that leverage on like clients now moving forward. If I'm being honest, yeah. I'm gonna use your situation as like, <laughs> the best example yeah. possible because like like we were talking about it. We were talking about someone that was mentioning nationals. You and I the other night. Um, and 
they asked me, they were like, you know, do you think I could win a local show and actually be competitive at nationals? And I was like, okay, let me give you a quick scenario if you want to know whether or not. <laughs> no, seriously, I said this on picture the call. Picture this. I was like, picture this. I was like, you saw Nick a few weeks back, right? And they were like, yeah, I saw him. I'm like, okay. You saw some of his videos recently? And they were like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, that took second. <laughs> that's geek. I was like that. Yeah. No, seriously, I was like yeah. that took second yeah, place. That's great. So yeah. if you think you can beat that truly yeah. in your heart yeah. when yeah. you sleep in bed at night, <laughs> yeah. if you think, if like, you think, oh well, I don't know. If you, if you think, if you at your bed and like truthfully can say I can beat that at night, then yeah, there's your answer. Yeah. That's but, wild. But yeah. be honest with yourself. I'm like, look at that. Yep. Look yep. at that. Yep. Are you ready? Dude, it's dude. That's no, such a good example because not. that yeah, actually. Dude, they like shut the fuck that's up. So so funny. Funny. Oh, that's so funny. Go over there and stand next to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey tell. Nick, you want to pop your shirt off real quick, bud? <laughs> oh, here's the. Be... <laughs> 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 like, yeah, you ready for that? <laughs> dude, that's so funny because after I won Battle at the River, um, I did my cardio session the oh, next God. fucking day after the show, and um, one of my athletes called me and he's like, and he he was in prep. He was twenty weeks out at the time. And uh, our the original goal, and I don't think he understood this, was compete at the end of this year to qualify for next year mm. because he just needed. To, he also has really bad gyno, and that's not going to get looked good no. at a, a national no. show. No. no. So then I was like, we need a qualification. We've been in a, a surplus for a while. We just need to get, you know, kind of like the first example for my first show, like yeah. not come in fucking to the nines, just come and get the qualification, rebound, gyno surgery, fucking run it for nationals yeah and I, I was fucking talking on the phone and i'm like dude like honestly to be honest i did what lance did i'm like take a picture of your most recent check-in go to back to when you were on stage uh two years ago and then put it next to mine and he's like yeah dude definitely not and then another one of my athletes uh um same thing after the show he's like yeah man i kind of want to like go back and do a growth phase and then three guys from battle of the river no two guys from battle of the river and the one guy from junior nationals signed up with me and they were like to be honest man like they were following my stuff through hostile. They, they knew who I was for a long time. Um, they signed up and they were like, you being on stage made me realize that I did not do enough in the off season um, mm -hmm. in terms of accountability, in terms of being coached, you know, because and their placings reflected it. You know, they looked good, but it didn't, it wasn't good for a first call out. Yeah. Um, so it was really cool to just to see the um, firsthand how some athletes were getting humbled and not getting humbled in a wrong way way where they were feeling defeated but they were getting humbled and they no, were re was, realizing like shit i need to work with somebody that's going to get me to their level and beyond i was literally just going to say that it was a reality check for the midwest yeah because <laughs> yeah. uh everybody should have watched that and been like oh he did it he yeah did it the right way yeah he took three years of, of an off season yep. to grow 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 and grow 100 pounds i do one year off seasons or even so eight months yep yep and yep. i I'm don't ready. grow show after show after I'm show ready, losing muscle not, yeah and that's not how it works uh, i just don't get it too because we talk about it all the time it's so expensive to prep it's we were so talking, expensive we were talking about it before it's that ego of them getting the yeah can you just all the praise yeah, and all the, yeah dude. So the looks we're and comments yeah that's a great compliments that's a great time to bring that and up and yeah, yeah we were talking dude, about that it's that post show anxiety that everybody yeah. gets where they're like no one cares about me anymore yeah 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 and that's yeah. when you see like so i was prepping yeah yeah, yeah. dude that's and a very they get all scared and nervous that no one cares about them anymore. And Very good jump, example. Jump right back into a prep. Yep, yep. Because they're like, I need, I need to like get that do something. That validation, hey, bro. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm so. That's so, so good that you in, brought that up because so, yeah. that's so good you brought that up because that's something that I really thought about um, between my first and my second show this season. Um, after my first show, for a couple hours, I felt like a failure. Like I felt like I let a lot of people down, um, and I felt like I let myself down first and foremost. Just you know because it didn't go as planned. Um, regardless of the decision the judges make, like it was just we looking at who was on stage, we knew who the fucking winner was, even yeah. though I didn't on paper win. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and then I thought to myself, I'm like, damn, why do I feel like I'm letting other people down first when I had a great package? Package. We came in big as fuck. We came in super full, and we just need to make improvements for the next show. And then the biggest difference between the first show and the second show in my in junior nationals was I was prepping for me. I was prepping for cam. I was prepping for my family and my loved ones. Yeah. And like, that's all that I thought about. Like all I thought about was like rally jumping into my arms after the show, after winning an overall, you know, with that pro card, how cam would feel like being proud of me being coached by him for four years. And it was like so many people prep for social media. So many people right. prep for the external yeah. validation. And then that's why they keep jumping back into these shows, jumping back into these shows, realizing like, 
the feedback that they're getting from the judges, if they're getting feedback, hey, you need to have a bigger chest, you need to have a bigger back, you need to be thicker, you need to be fuller, all these things. If it's feedback that is going to take a year or more to make, why the fuck are you going into these shows? Right. Again, 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 again. Because you can't, you can't, if they say, hey, you need more tissue to your upper chest, you can't put tissue on in two fucking weeks. No. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it felt yeah. very good for me after talking to Attila and her, we asked, hey, should he do universe? And does he fit men's physique? And she was like, yes, we love your structure. We love your shape. We love your taper. You are men's physique. You could do classic eventually, but capitalize on men's physique first. Yep. And then she was like, um, you could do universe because what's going to be the difference between junior nationals and universe is your posing. That's what's going to be the difference between you going pro or not. So then I had a huge morale boost. I'm like, damn, okay, it's good that it's something that small that I can control yeah. directly is the posing. Yeah, well, everybody knows the sizes there. Yes. That's yeah. no question. Yeah, and yeah. dude, fuck it, like the shreds are, I mean, dude, I'm... Yeah, I was going to say, the, 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 yeah, the, the peelness and the the size is there. Yeah, yeah. It just comes down to a lineup and, and, yeah. and getting the opposing perfect. 100%. Are you going to uh, change, are you going to stick with that one pose that you were showing us the other day? Uh, no both hands, hands down. down yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm starting with no hands down first. Nice. Okay. So I'm starting with no hands down, um, and then I'm gonna transition to my back back pose. I'm hitting my back pose a little bit differently now too because my waist is so much smaller. So before I was bringing the air up into my chest. Yep. Um, and then pushing my hips back towards the judges, which was actually lengthening my lats. Okay. So it was bringing by bringing my chest up. It was actually elevating my scapula, lengthening my lats, making my lats look less thick, and making my back look less wide. And not showing as much detail. So I showed the difference between him and my photos this morning. Uh, the comparison of hitting how I was hitting my back pose before and then how we're hitting it now. And by just pushing my hips forward and then bringing my chest up, because I'm so much leaner in my lower back, b barely any more lower back wrinkles. And now that it's way more detail in my rhomboids and in my Terry's area. Good. Yeah, that's right. Um, so then after back pose, we switch that up. We I'm, I Instead of coming back around on a 180, the same side that I came around, I do a full 360 now. Yep. Um, I do like a Cobra transition, full 360, hit the front pose again with both arms down, and then before I walk off stage, I hit with one hand on the hip nice. just to show more muscularity. Yep. Um, My buddy uh, wanted us to actually bring this up. He was like, uh, "What? what's the – because he follows the pod and he follows your, your show stuff right now, and he's like, What's the difference between hands down and hands on the hip? And why, uh -huh. do, why would you, what's the advantage of either? Um, so, oh, you it's, answer that? Answer? Yeah. yeah. So for my case, my case, when I have one hand on my hip, I tend to pose too aggressively and I pose too hard. Yeah. Okay. Now, when that happens for myself, hard? yes. Yeah. And but also it's a I I there's a, por a portion where I need to take accountability for it and it's not because I'm posing too hard but it's because I didn't practice enough in that front post being composed yeah. holding composure having a poise you know what I'm saying um, so there's that so it 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 wasn't the most stable um, pose for myself and the way um, my right side the arm that's not on my hip um, by when I when I Cam said from the crowd, get wide, yeah. you know, because the other guy was very narrow. So I pushed that arm out a little bit more and I over twisted and it flattened my chest out because yep. it stretched my chest instead of how I was normally hitting it. I relaxed this side. I did notice that. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So that was my mistake on my end as well. So I'll take utter and full responsibility for that. Belt, then they kind of like pulled it all the way out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um, the for how I've been practicing with both hands on my uh, hands down now, it's more relaxed it's composed it's what men's physique poses should be and i'm not saying they're like they don't judge differently between one hand on hip and both hands down yeah. it's just whatever pose for you is more comfortable and easier to hit and hold for a longer period they're going to notice that the judges will yeah um so that's the difference there i've been posing like a motherfucker every day um how hard was it uh, to hold that like men's physique pose when you are clamped down for that long, they were holding yeah, you guys you're forever. You were in on that for a minute. I I saw you. They were I, out there for what? There was at one least moment, like you, five minutes. Yeah, minutes? there was one minute where you were holding it for a, quite a while, and I saw you start to go, and the guy, like three guys down, adjusted, and then I saw you immediately. <laughs> you knew eyes were then over. Yeah. You went over. And yep, you yep, yep. Immediately adjusted. Yep. I was like, I know that feeling when you're like. Just hold until someone else does it. And then Bro, like, they would, I will sweet. not break. Yeah. If they would have had one more round of yeah. us posing, I would have started getting like flattening out and sweating like a motherfucker. Yeah. And passing out from holding your breath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Um, and, I, and it's also too like 
I can't stress enough how much better the connection to my core has improved in the past three weeks since Battle at the River. Yeah. Um, and even since uh, Sydney Gill and Peach Classic, my first show, because like I've been hitting abs every fucking day, not to failure, literally just to like, it's it's such we I don't even know how to explain how I train my abs now. It's like I always do my vacuums in the morning every fucking day, very dil- diligently. But like how I train my abs, it's like very small range of motion, mm-hmm. just trying to contract my abs by breathing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, the crunch machine at social. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, so with that one, that one's super nice. Um, I literally get in there and I li- my range of motion is probably just like, like yeah. not even a full crunch. Yeah. You know, it's because I'm literally thinking about, okay, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. And now just crunch, you know, it's been helping a lot. Just having mm-hmm. that connection. Like, okay, I can feel the front of my abs and my obliques now. Yeah. Um, because that's one thing that I did not, again, people listening, do your fucking core work in the off season. Yep. Don't be afraid to build a thick ass fucking waist. Like you're only going to build a thick ass waist and thick obliques. If you're going to complete failure, if you're, you know, pushing your gut out on big ass, like deadlifts, rack pulls, you yep. know, shit like that. And I did not work my core enough in the off season for sure. You know, so which so, is you, you and I when we were training together, we were we we terrible. noticed that we were like, yeah. yeah, we're gonna do abs today, and then we like three days later we do it again. The yeah, cable crunches. I was, I was cramping yep. all the time though. No. I used to never, Easy would hurt. I used to never cramp while doing abs. Ever. I know. Same. My abs were always pretty strong, and yeah. we I didn't do them for so long because <laughs> you guys never trained them. So I was yeah, like, oh, I guess I don't need to train them. <laughs> Dude, yeah, exactly, and that's and that's one thing too where. Uh, um, I, I like I that I gotta take accountability for that as well too. Is that that it helps with posing? Like feeling your abs, what portion of your abs are contracted, is going to have a better presentation on stage. Because there's guys up there that had a fucking chiseled front of their core, yeah, but zero obliques. You yeah. know, and it's like I yeah. bet if they actually could flex just their obliques, they'd be fucking. They'd look a lot better. But then they're losing their core, right? You know right. what I'm saying? So, but anyway, um, fun. Damn, off can't wait for next weekend. Dude, yeah, next, next, we're gonna do another, another live stream party. Yeah, we're gonna do yeah. another live stream party for the Fourth of July weekend. What a good weekend! That's I know, gonna be great. I know that's gonna be fun. Ah, fuck, dude, I'm not. Dude. I'm looking forward to like competing dude, next weekend. Yeah, not going. But apparently, NPC Universe is a <laughs> fucking shit show. Is it, bro? Is? Apparently, the venue is like when they're lining you up to go, before you go on stage. You're like in a hallway. Where is Universe? that one? Uh, New Jersey. T- oh, T-Nick, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, is that yeah, the that's the one Anthony and them did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go watch Montello and those James English's videos. So oh, you can I, see the venue. Oh, I did. Yeah, dude, I was, I was, bro. That's one like thing too. Show. I'm not a guy to watch fucking fitness influencers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I told him Unless about this after the first show. I literally like it helped me honestly yeah, get through my preps, especially in my peak weeks. Like watching show day videos of other young guys. Yeah, you know, like it, dude. It put a fucking fire in me. I've rewatched the Von Walker Show Day video where he goes pro, the fucking James English Show Day video, the fuck Anthony Montella one, and yeah. Andre Diu for the Texas Pro two years ago. Like those, one, it's just like it gives you that sense of like, yo, I'm gonna fucking do this too. Yep. This is gonna be me here soon. Like, yep. and you, even though I'm not one to really, you, you know, a have a camera YouTube crew around video. me and shit, you know, like do a Show Day YouTube video. People no. would love that. I'm not going to. Why, bro? I got. I want to watch it. First off, first off, I it helped me a lot. <laughs> filming a lot of YouTube videos for Hostile. Okay, but I can't when I'm when I'm backstage, I don't want to have a camera with down. me. I if somebody if <laughs> if there's going to be a show day video, it's going to be somebody else filming it, not me explaining it. It's rally. <laughs> yeah, my face. <laughs> Watch the camera. Get me out of here. Bro, yeah. one of my clients uh for my first show. <laughs> I I was down in Georgia. He uh swiped up. I was do I was on a walk and I was saying some shit on my walk on my story. And then he uh swiped up and said yeah man you should like really uh you know record this this whole process for us and i kind of snapped on him i'm like bro (laughs) the goal is to fucking win i don't give a shit about recording this process the entire time like trend wall (laughs) 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 i will say dude i've I've learned to control the trend way way better than my Uh, first show like i think i think the trend had more of an effect on me for show number one because of my more like how nervous I was to get on stage because yeah. I haven't been on stage in three years. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and like and now it barely feels like anything. Those nerves come out negative. Yeah, I'm out. I'm not nervous. <laughs> yeah. I get more aggression from him. dude. I got fucking prescription grade Halo like prescribed yeah. to oh. me with my name on it. Holy fuck! Yeah, that Lush. shit's wild. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you some today for arms. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes, that's I can do drugs. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, it's like, but I will say, it's like, if you want some, it's going to be $10 a bill. Oh, <laughs> it's worth Easy. It. It's I, pay, easy. I think for like 60 tabs, I paid like almost close to $400 fucking dollars. What? Holy shit. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's legit from a compounding pharmacy. Holy fuck. No discount code? <laughs> no insurance. That was with the discount. You guys, take, you guys oh, take insurance shit. cards? Yeah. <laughs> this is covered by my provider. Yeah. Is this covered by my provider that I do drugs before? <laughs> I need to do hey, body damage. <laughs> That's crazy. Funny. Well, dude, that, Rise, that Rise was plugged. Rise sent my all my prescriptions system. down to uh, Tennessee for my shows. Yeah. Oh, so they, they literally just were like, hey, man, you know, we heard you going out to Tennessee. All, Shout out to Matt Body Tech. Yeah. Matt, like, he was like, yeah, we're going to send all your prescriptions to Walgreens. And I get to Walgreens and I only paid like. Fucking fifty bucks out of pocket instead of like two hundred for all nice. other shit. Yeah, Crazy. Damn. dude, I I sent three guys this week to to rise. I sent everyone yeah. there. Third dogs. I was at that. I was <laughs> yeah. at I was at a conference work conference all week in Illinois, and all these guys were like, just cut. You know, when there's one fit guy, they all have to come oh, and tell yeah. you oh, when yeah. they used to be fit. Yeah. And two of them Back actually the showed stories. me. One of them was on gear. Damn. And he's oh. he was like a hundred and fifty pounds now, like <sighs> literally skin and bones. But he was like telling me he was on gear and all this stuff at one point. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, old yeah. guy stuff. He showed me he was fucking huge. He was like two thirty five at five foot seven. Damn. And then That's this other guy was sixty, huge, and he was ex bodybuilder, but now he's like three hundred pounds. Yeah. And then I, so I was talking with him. I was like, yo, you guys should get on TRT. Like, get back into that phase, feel young again. Right. And they both signed up or reached out to Rise right then and there. I. That's why I asked for the code. And got them twenty, okay, got them twenty percent <laughs> off. And then by the end of the week, that was like Monday or Tuesday. And by the end of the week, another guy had come up to me and asked Damn. about it. And I was he he had never heard of that stuff like anything like that. But yeah. anybody that any male over forty or 30, wants TRT, I'm like. I'm just going to tell them to get on gear. For sure, for like, sure. They just need to start feeling yeah. better. The world would be a lot happier. Because they all place. say the same thing. I, Less I don't feel I don't feel energized after work. I can't do yep. They all say the yep. same thing. So every one of them, I don't even talk about workout or nutrition. I go, yeah. Yeah. you should get on TRT. <laughs> and I'll be like, dude, check out Rise. They're like, you think that would help? How do, how do like, I get yeah. it? And they're like, it's legal? I'm like, you're getting it prescribed yes. because you actually need it. And yeah. then they're like. I never thought of. I yeah. never thought you could do that. That's yeah. steroids, and I'm like, no, it's Luke, not. Luke, we're getting you on gear. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting, we're getting you fucking that. jacked. All Luke's friends are like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he started hanging out with those guys. <laughs> just vascular shit. Luke, I'm sending you over my coaching application <laughs> after this. You know, I'll wait for your response, and I'm getting you on some good shit. Sitting Don't at worry. The, at the campfire podcast. Yo, I really want to say something about that, <laughs> should, that, that chapter time. in the Bible. I got something to say. <laughs> Just put it. Listen up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Listen, boy. Yeah, that's awesome. That's Sugi. We're clipping that shit. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be our shout. We're out. gonna get. Yeah. We're gonna clip that. It's, the title of the what clip is, is Luke gets on gear. It's Campfire Council. Campfire, Campfire Council. Yoked. Campfire Council. Check like him that. out on Spotify. Is that a, what's that. that? That's his podcast. Oh shit! Really? Oh, Absolutely. bet. Okay, cool. I'm gonna follow. We'll give him a shout. Bet. Um, that's actually dope. What about you guys? Oh, how are you guys? What about us? How are you, you doing? doing? No, I'm saying you got your time. You <laughs> well, up. you went like this you at sh- both of us, and no, I'm like, I I've been talking was, this entire I was time. Trying to go angled. Oh, oh okay, okay, I was okay. A downward shot towards Lance's crotch. We well, can ask. Let's some talk questions. about Zach. Zach, let's talk about your dating life. We yep. can ask some questions. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about your dating. <laughs> we can ask some you questions. Get, get any action lately? Um. <laughs> not as of lately. Speaking no. of, uh, yeah. Speaking of, are we a? Are is this podcast team Haktua? Yes. Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah. Wait, for sure. Yeah, 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 that's, the wife, Have you seen the, that's video? the wife of America right Okay, now, cool, dude. cool. She blew up, dude. Yeah. She's all the queen. from that. She's we the can't queen. be the only podcast all that All from that one little one phrase. Time. Yeah. You don't, you don't know who the hot She had a couple girl phrases. Is? Did she really? Yeah. Yeah, spit on that thing. Yeah, dude. I was like, <laughs> what the, the fuck? accent, the accent sent me over the edge. Everybody's obsessed with it. It's yeah. hilarious. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would. I was a little upset. <laughs> I bet you every dude went. So I was like, "Shit!" Sure. Zach's just watching it on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him just be like, "Why is this video like three hours?" <laughs> oh my, sleeps to it. That's his white noise. <laughs> Do uh, yeah, spit on that. Just, yeah, spit on that. You see me with my my night my night eye covers or whatever they use yeah, at night. Turns. It's, just, it's just that on repeat, <laughs> just sleeping so soundly. I will find her <laughs> <you. laughs> one day. Uh, so you haven't heard of her name? 
Can't uh-uh. believe you've never heard of a hot Dude, tour. she's huge. No, she's no idea. Bl- blown up. She's it's... probably one of the most famous people in America right now. Yeah, yeah. oh, easily. What's I'll, that? I'll, it's like, video? like, why I've though? What's it. that? I'll, I'll clip that. You'll clip the video. Yeah, clip that. Yeah. So, like, why yeah, is she sweet. famous? They were. What was she, the question? She got the boys. She got the boys barking. So, some guy was in Nashville <laughs> doing interviews with random drunk people I'll while they're it. on the street, and he yeah. goes, he goes, uh, "What's one thing you you like women should do in the bedroom for men or something like that?" And she goes, "Oh, that's easy. You got a hot." Two of that thing. You spit on that thing. Yeah. And oh, I thought this is like the chick's name, no. dude. Oh. And I'm like, what kind of hell? No. Could be. Could be. I don't know her name, so as far as I know, I'm calling her the Hakatua girl. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, that, <laughs> dude, that girl's 100% right. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Amen. And it just blew up because every man in America was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every guy's sending, sending that to their girlfriend now. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So that's so she we're we're a fan of her. Okay, so that happened. She's we, not even that hot, but she got she she knows what's up. <laughs> she knows what's up. <laughs> the sound it of goes it. sex. <laughs> <laughs> Get her out of my face! <laughs> I just everybody's obsessed with her. <laughs> the only, I'm only yeah. obsessed with what she said. I'm no, like, no, 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 maybe good. a three. You're good. Uh, I wanted to talk about. So now we're all here, and I think we've all had time to do it. The Boys season five episode. Five. Holy shit! Oh yeah, dude. That's shit. everybody watched it. That shit. Yeah. Was, you seen it? You're now watching. He's the getting boys. caught up. He's getting caught one. up. He's getting caught okay, up. Okay. So talk, talk, talk about it. You're he's good. So just enjoy it. Just, what just enjoy about. it right now. Just let he's it so take far you. behind. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. Season okay. season four episode five. Bro, it was pretty wild. Victoria Newman is that bitch. Yeah, Definitely my has, favorite episode yeah, so far. So okay, Aaron. Stan Aaron Edgar. brought up. I was super high for it, but Aaron. Uh, Aaron brought up a very valid point. She said, "If she can pop heads, why were they running from the sheep? Why wouldn't she just pop all their heads?" That's yeah, that makes sense. Because she has right? to look at them. I thought that was such like a plot hole. Like look in their yeah. eyes. I thought she doesn't have to look in their eyes. She really? did. She blew the whole she council's head boom. off. From outside the building, and yeah. she and she yeah. fucked up that chicken before it was about to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, that was like just kind of that. plot hole. You know, like they needed a reason for him to have a separate that. moment with her husband. She could have walked. But it through really the, definitely was like, yeah. Why isn't she just popping all the sheep's heads? She could have walked through the entire farm and popped every single fucking yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Maybe it's got to be. Oh no, no. It's like a little bit of her plot power hole is armor. So yeah. crazy. I will say, not crazy enough. She got trapped by sheep. That's true. But that was sick as hell though. Watching all them fly around, they were. They were gnarly. Homelander is he's figured out how to manipulate that. Camera. I was just about to say the same thing. It. Yep. It's over for everybody. Love I liked Literally. Homelander in that last episode. He was I like a it. dad. I was like, dude, I, like I, seeing, I thought the same thing. I like seeing the Ryan and dad relationship. Yeah. There yeah. was so much tension. Like, yes. Because Ryan didn't want to like do anything. Like, but now he's like, yo, you don't have to listen to I was hoping fucking kid, peasants now. Yeah. Like, you're God. <laughs> I was hoping the kid Slap would him. stay good. But then uh, Homelander realized he couldn't keep pushing him the way he was no. pushing him. Yes. No, like, yeah. Oh, I got to let this kid. That's why he went and killed him. I got to let this that. little fucking kid get hard to a girl slapping another dude. I think <laughs> he was just like <laughs> sipping milk. I think, Ryan, I think Ryan's going to become an antihero. Yeah. In, by yeah, the yeah. end of the season. I'm really interested. Because at first I thought he was going to kill Homelander. But now I'm like, ah, I don't know now. I don't think so. I think no. they're going to rise together. Yeah. I can't wait. We need a Homelander A Train fight. Oh, it's yeah. It'll Assassination yeah. Run. Eternal Assassination one. Run. There, someone like, posted the Eternal one where the Speedster yeah. girl was fighting the Superman like guy. A couple more episodes. And it was like, we need a Homelander A Train fight. It'll be the for finale. Sure, for yeah, sure. It'll be the finale for sure. I hope that's so. A big, that's a big thing. It's gonna be <laughs> I love the scene in episode five where um, A Train's stealing the fucking uh, compound V. And that girl is taking Ashley a shit. Ashley was taking a shit. Yeah. <laughs> she gets caught. Yeah. 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 Fucking ridiculous. That she has fucking to hilarious. worry about someone finding that out. It's just her <laughs> taking a shit in Homelander's bathroom. Why would yeah. You, it's such a weird thing, too. Like, but that's too, how scared she is of him. He's like, an ugly fuck, too. If, yeah, if she finds not. that out, he will murk her ass. Yeah. Like, you can shit that's like a big disrespect thing for him. Yeah. 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 They're huge. They've been really leading up to it, but they, they're like... Homelander crew that what are they called the seven yeah. seven they are like now about to go god mode I love They're done I fucking like that. around with Pete he's yes. like, yes. yes. I like that the deep like is that. done with it too he's like, are he's you guys ready to up. get diabolical like we're gonna yep. start murking people when they talk back to us Lance what do you what, how do you think about like within episode one of season four within the first eight minutes it was just like modern shitting on both left and right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought it was right. awesome. Dude. Right. Yeah, it was great. I thought it was awesome. I was, was like, I was like, like the, dude, I'm gonna love this season. It was like the like, whole trial thing. They dropped the fucking term libtard within the first three minutes, and I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, baby. It wasn't, dude. It was, uh, it was kind of cool though, like how they kind of showed you the back end of how they're just doing it to manipulate, like how yeah. one yeah. super, how one super intelligent person 
can just show like how like everyone She's, can just turn on each other that, that quick is, if yeah, they just yeah. set it up right. That well, dude, chick it's is just exposing them. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's She's just literally... like we're just smarter than everyone, and we're just running a plan. If you think about it, dude, literally the boys season four. Well, actually, the, enti- the entire good for those writers. It's, it's, lit- it's literally just like a, a, a modern day. USA culture, political system yeah, on steroids. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, they're literally... T- like, there's so much modern the shit in it with left co- and right and it's, that it's like the superheroes are manipulating everybody, they're but also being manipulated. It's exactly, the, they're, they're, exactly. They're, they're the living form of corporations. Exactly. That's, like, all they are. Wild. The Marvel phases, too, for the movies. I thought that was... Yeah. Really oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to show phases 7 through 19. Yeah, dude, I know, I know. <laughs> it was uh, just like, what the fuck? It's, they're bought, yeah. It's kind of fucking annoying how, like, in episode 3, going into episode 4, um, like, the 7, it's all about, like, the religious bullshit. Like, they're, yeah. like... It, like they went over the top on those t- those two episodes about the uh, and I'm not saying like religion's bullshit. I'm just saying like it's such like the the superheroes are uh, clearly not like you know into God and stuff, right? But they're doing it just for the fucking people. Oh, you yeah. know, they're be like, oh, like our people, you know, they're, like they're anti-abortion. You know, now we're gonna be well, like that's who they're leaning into. Though. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's I know. the same thing with politics. It's yeah. The, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah same but thing. But they they just pushed it really hard in a cheesy way on purpose, and it was just like thrown at you. Like, damn, like man, sheeple just fucking believe whatever the fuck they they yeah. see their idols say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or but hear their idols though. say. Oh yeah, it's I know. And that whole thing ended yeah. up killing like the top three like f- like top supporters or whatever. Remember? Yeah, that was hilarious. He's like, I don't want you the guys. The dude wanted to, to beat him so bad. Oh, yeah, that's I right. Want you take these bats and beat these guys. And to beat bed. the fuck out of them, yeah. yeah. So fuck. You idolize your. your Black person. Noir just fucking whack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to go. Yeah. Dude, his face was fucking. Yeah. Putty. It was putty. Gross. That was wild. Putty, bro. He's like, <laughs> the guy fucking. I love Homeland. Homeland. I oh, know me too. He's like, yeah, he's, you're going to stand films. there. And you're, if you don't get hard, I'm going to fucking laser your dick off. Dude, that's <laughs> just fucking diabolical. Yeah. Yeah. Diabolical. That shit's wild. You could argue him as one of the greatest TV villains. He probably is the greatest. If, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Greatest. If, I'm going to say he is. He's the greatest TV villain. Because, like, we got Heath Ledger for the Joker in, in one movie. He's doing this for, like, over multiple and episodes. And it's getting more intense. Yeah. More intense. They're showing what, gone. like, being ra- like not raised properly looks like. You yeah. Know? like yeah, bro. The lab grown, so he has no emotions because he never saw what, like, any emotional thing. Like speaking of mom, get the oven fresh. Dude, oh yeah, good point. Yeah. And then speaking of not being fucking raised properly, the goddamn Kia boys outside Social Candy last night. <laughs> yeah, that those was, those fatherless crazy. fucks, dude. That was, awesome. actually, that was terrifying to be we honest. Were, I happened? was locked down. Dog fuckers in the middle of the street and he had to like Boing. jump out. I was just like, bro, what the fuck? I yeah. thought it was someone like getting mugged or they were like oh, really? fighting the driver or something. I was like, is someone like in a fight? It was bad, right dude. They were like pulling like and they were yeah. going full speed down the road. Full speed. Going back and forth. The and car was gonna the, tip. Yeah, dude. Like we both like kind of like hesitated. I was like, "Fuck, dude." Is Wild. It's like get ready yeah. to dodge a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, dude. Yo, I would have gone right back in. You look so scared and confused. We I'm like, across the road. We were like stuck on that side. Yeah, we yeah, had bro. to. We couldn't jump the fence either because there was barb barbed wider. Oh yeah, yeah. Brandon so was, was just like, oh, like "What the fuck was that?" Damn. So I, mean, they, I was like, they just don't know how to like. Why were they doing? They said that? it's a they celebrational joyride. He that. said it's a thing they do oh, yeah. on purpose. Oh. Like if you get a so car, they just, got they just one? fucking do some dumb shit. You just rip it. And you just, just swerve it everywhere. So dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So stupid. He we looks, can almost die. And yeah. then when you guys left, when you guys left, probably ten minutes later, a cop was just fucking coming down the road. I'm oh, like, yeah, shit. great. You should have been here ten minutes earlier, you fucker. Like usually, you sit down by that bar. You know, you could have caught him. Caught him then. I've seen so much shit on that street, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't, a I don't weird like that street. street. It is a weird street. Because it's like not There's bad. really nothing we there. We went like to dinner Solomon's there. is down the street. And Bachman's totally is fine. a nice furniture spot. I want to go to Solomon's. It's so good. We, it's good, dude. It? So we'll go there after your show. I want to go there. Yeah, we good went burger. there. We went yeah. there. And the burger. I get, Fire. Oh, my God. Fuck. So good. Oh, no. I got to wrap. You guys got wraps. So good. They got wraps. So, yeah, I was healthy. I was like, you know, I'm going to hit my protein. They got, they got wraps. Losers. <laughs> sure. Thanks. We got ice cream after that. Yeah. Oh, speaking <laughs> of fucking. He was ice outing cream. us for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. That was his fault. We got Leon's, too. I, sure I, I, I miss doing summer shit like that. It's fun, dude. We it's need you done. back. It's, I know, man. It's, almost done. I know. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's nice perfect time for July. We've been going off like just with, <laughs> with like pool days and yeah, like yeah, just yeah, like yeah. making perfect bro days out of it. And I will say, it's like We're this. Prepping. I would say, bro. <laughs> just high as shit all day. Yeah. Being, being on prep would be way more fucking hard on me, dude, if I like actually had 
ravenous fucking hunger every day. Yeah. If I was like, if I wasn't getting sleep because I was hungry, if I was waking yeah. up starving, like I on, honestly can say there's probably been five times since prep when I started in January where I've woken up and I'm like actually hungry. Damn. Like, yeah. like starving hungry. Like right. I'll get the hunger pains in the morning, like at the end of cardio or something. You know, this morning was one of the days where I was, I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm like, dude, I kind of hope Cam gives me a refeed today because I cannot, like I was, I was insanely hungry this morning. Yeah. Well, but like, good. and it's like, it's one of those things too where it's like, I literally like, I miss doing the summer shit. I don't miss, you know, I, yeah, I like, I enjoy uh, the, the food outside of prep and stuff. But like, I just miss the memories that could be having, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he told me outside, he was like, well, bro, you have your, all, your whole life for that shit. Like you only go pro yeah. once. Oh yeah. You know? And, and like, I miss just like, Fucking fishing up in the Northwoods, you know. Yeah. Like I miss going hiking. Without I miss, the stress of without like, the, if I don't have my meals. Yeah, right yeah, right yeah. Time, yeah. And like taking Rally out on a date, taking her out to the fucking club once in a while, yeah. you know. Like, um, I but I will say, like, I, I could, that. I could prep, I could prep, dude. Like where I'm at right now and how well my body is still responding and not hitting stick points and shit, and where my drugs are at and where my blood work was at too. Like, I literally could probably prep for another fucking five six months. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, but let's not. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. No, but I'm no. saying, like, if I had to. One more week. Like, let's just say, like, one more. Believe me, bro. We're going fucking pro next week. But if I if I had to, like, let's yeah. say, you know, Cam's like, hey, we're going to take three months, improve a little bit, and then we're going to do, you know, our amateur Arnold, or we're going to do an amateur Olympia or some shit. I'm like, all right, cool. Why would you do that? You would. No, I'm saying, it. like, let's, if I if. did not go pro. Oh, the, hypothetical. You know, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I would, I would say I have the ability to train. And do that stuff for one more week. <laughs> <laughs> one more week. Yeah, one more week. This, this right. is it. The I, only plan A. I wouldn't say I have yep. five to six months. Yep. 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 You don't need a plan B. Well, dude, that's the thing, bro. You that's one more week for one that's, that's, second show. Then wins, vacation so. starts. And that's, that's, that's something that I really fucking like ingrained in my mind too. Was uh, and especially when people would ask, like, "Hey, what happens like after the show if you don't go pro?" And I said, "I'm going pro." Like even at Junior yeah. Nationals, even though it didn't like don't putting that. that energy into the universe. Excuse you know, it helps me? with your with your own uh, ability to like manifest yeah. things. Helps with your 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 confidence, your poise. You know, there was people that are like after uh, um, after Junior Nationals, well, they, but backstage you're like, yeah, am I gonna see you at NPC Universe in a couple of weeks? And I said, nope. And they're like, what? <laughs> and I'm and I'm and then they ended up getting like nope. third fucking callouts. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, well, dude, you literally yeah, just I'll, speaking I'll your you failure there. into the universe. Yeah. yeah, I'll see you there. And I'm like, no, no, no. You stupid fuck. Anyway, boys, do you think we're getting some questions? Eh? Yeah, let's get some questions. Yeah. I was trying to, yeah, I was just pulling. I, I wanted to see if I had a topic. Stuff. I can't remember if I had something. Um, oh, I did have some things. What up? Yeah. So uh, as of two days ago, Heinz reveals their everything sauce that combines fourteen oh, different I flavors. I wish it could be zero calories so I could try. It's probably it. so. Oh, it's, yeah. so it's uh, I'll go through the list. It's burger, garlic, aioli, smoky bacon, a sweet chili mm. chip sauce, saucy so sauce, fire. mayo racha, mayo must, truffle mayo, garlic, and caramelized onion mayo, curry ketchup, pickle ketchup, smoky bacon ketchup. That's got to be what? Bang it! What does yeah. it even taste like? Though? I was gonna say There's how do so you get much. that many sauces in there, but those all sound like they're. Is it I don't know. It comes Dude. In, it comes in a nice box. Don't try it. That's wild. I want to know what it oh, tastes like because there's nice 14 box. different flavors in that. Got another one for you. Yep. This is a fun one. Uh, actually, a little frustrating if I'm being honest. So the USA U-20 World Tackle Football Team semis lost to Japan 20-41. to 41. What the fuck are we doing? What is U-20? That? What's that mean? It's like a youth group of football players. Oh. So oh. like our... Okay. Because like foreign countries are starting to get into football now. Oh, oh shit! Dude, yeah. I saw I saw Canada beat Canada beat Brazil a hundred and forty to twenty. Jesus! Whoa. <laughs> so they're talking football about game? this is yeah. actually becoming oh like God. a talk um, in the not in the NFL is but the like so, get so they what they kind of want to do is kind of like what the NBA does. So like based on like your actual nationality, like kind of do like a football thing just because the sport is now starting to get so diverse. Yeah. That they like might be able in the future to like create kind of how like, you know, like when Giannis goes to play for Greece, yeah, for the basketball team, yeah, yeah, yeah kind yeah. of doing that. With I football. get what you're saying, yeah, like with football, multiple leagues, yeah, 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 that's kind of cool though, like an international football kind of like tournament, like how they do like the Olympics and everything like yeah. that. Like, I think the goal eventually is to get such a diverse range for football. That they could do something like that, yeah. Because and then they have feeder leagues too. Because yeah. soccer is so like when people are like, because people in America are always Soccer's like, yo, football is king, and I'm like, yo, football is no. king in America. I'm yeah. like, soccer internationally yeah. takes a fat shit. Bro, on have you been seeing? Like, so you know, it would, but I think I truly think if you could get 
the funding because it is a lot of money in certain countries to get a professional football team organized. Yeah. Like I feel like if you brought football to other countries and again if you could pull it off with the equipment and the funding, I think it would take I think it would blow the fuck up. I agree. Up. I agree. I think it would blow the fuck Haven't up. Haven't you seen yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's seen like the most viewed with, thing here. Yeah, for Haven't sure. you been seeing what they've been doing with basketball? Basketball's like, huge in Asia, bro. In, like other huge. countries, wild. They were Same showing, with baseball in huge. Asia. They were showing the Euro League, and it was like, da, na, 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 and like the whole crowd but, was going, and they were like, imagine if the USA got anywhere near but, this. The NBA is yeah. so quiet. You're in there like, get louder, and you're like, defense. Like, it's pretty quiet in there. You <laughs> yeah. can have a conversation well, for sure. The game. only Those hard places, part there's no conversations. You are screaming at the top of your lungs. That's like, the only hard part. Is like soccer is very affordable, right? Like you need a field, you need a stadium, you need soccer balls, you need some equipment. Like think about how much it costs to just get like one high level helmet in the NFL now. You're, oh, you're, you're talking, you're oh, talking oh, like oh, three to five thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah. The return's gonna be there. Though. A helmet. But no, but I'm saying, but in 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 order to get started, yeah, you yeah. have to have that's all an, this funding. That's an investment, but once you get the world locked in, it's over. No, For, but I'm yeah, saying yeah. I think football, if you got it everywhere, could really. The Rock's I think, gonna go do that. I think it would be huge. Well, that's why dude. it's gonna be in Brazil. I feel like because they're trying to expand oh, the yeah. idea of doing it. I still I can't so. believe they're putting them in like gang neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Bro, especially two green, green teams. <laughs> two like, green teams, but green where you is can't like, wear green because of yeah, gangs. Two green so the NFL fucked that one up. Like, yeah, yeah, black dude, team. Josh Jacobs like laughed about that. He was like, "What the fuck?" Two green teams. Man, they're like, "Oh shit!" Honestly, dude, if I was the NFL, I would try to switch that game. I got another one for you, bro. This is talking about sports. I'm really reminiscing right now. Just us at Lance. It's fucking crib watching football and shit. Yeah. You're, oh, so You're a Packer see, fan now, Dave's baby. Dave's hot chicken. You're a Packer fan yeah. now. The Packers are coming back right yeah. after prep, though. We're going to be world champions. Yeah. I can't wait to see Jay. Probably not this year. Right. I got one more topic yeah. in world news. So the WNBA is set to lose $50 million this year. The league remains unprofitable in its 28th year of existence. Makes sense. Rough. Set to lose how much? Fifty million dollars. I'm not surprised because they pumped so much money in the returns. Is it I think. It's, I mean, it's it, it's getting more popular. Yeah. but that's crazy to think you're still losing. But well, what I'm saying, they probably pumped million. a lot of money into marketing and stuff, yeah. and it just isn't returning. The comment people. section is fucking crazy. Well, funny, if, if think about this, dude, is it? It's wild <laughs> to think fifty mil oh for God. WNBA is a shit ton. Like a fifty mil loss for WNBA, bro. It's a ton. Fifty <laughs> mil loss for the NBA it ain't shit. That's pocket <laughs> change. That's that's a civil case. They yeah, probably bro. Have going They're down like, yeah. <laughs> Some dude goes hard to watch layups being missed consistently. Oh my god. Uh, let me read, goes, this, read the top goes, one. Maybe let him twerk or something. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, it had 22,000 uh, likes for that guy. He goes yeah, lower the is. rim so they can dunk. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a basically a tax write off for the NBA. <laughs> Damn. That's uh, funny as dude, fuck. Dude, the comment sections are my favorite Someone thing. Says, on l- play lingerie ball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how are they able to play if the players always? Oh you know, well, they, speaking of sports, boys, so did funny. you hear about um, the Olympics? Uh, what the Olympics just did with fucking transgenders? No. The Olympics just said that uh, there's they're not going to allow any of that like transgender woke no bullshit more with uh, with swimming with. Oh female. yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. but like th- that you was a can. huge topic going into this year though because of That's, that like that Leah Thomas dude. Yeah, that because. The Olympics are he this just lost summer, all his medals back to the girl. The girl won the yeah. She oh, won shit. the series. Yep. Uh, R- Riley Gaines or whatever her name is. Yeah. She's fucking dope, dude. She got fifty million. She's wow. fucking. And then so. she got all the trophies. Holy yeah. shit! She was just invited onto um, Andy Frisella's podcast. And Joe and Rogan. She uh, oh, and Joe Rogan. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and dude, she, she's a swimmer. That's awesome, bro. Do you know how many dude she had like at least a dozen lawsuits that were filed against her after going on Joe Rogan's and Andy Frisella's podcast? She won every single one of them because. It wasn't defamation. It was just fucking truth. Yeah. Like the her the school that she was attending, they fucking tried to sue her. The the her old uh, swim coach tried to sue her for saying all this shit, and she's like, "No, this is on, like, I literally have you guys saying this on recording that like we have to do this. We have to have like accept males in our locker room and shit. Yeah. You know, and it's like, and dude, she it's just like that's that she's the definition of a person." Where you see something fucked up, you speak up, and something changes. Good for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. like good for Riley Gaines or Grimes, her, whatever her name is. She got her money and her medals. Well, she's, it's not even that. She just wants the culture to change. Like She that just too. wants people to be like, yo, this is not right. You know, I, She didn't give a fuck about the money. 
Turning it to the Olympics, though, I am pretty excited. I love, I love the Olympics, dude. dude. Yeah. Shikari I'm huge. Richardson, Shikari Richardson going to go. I and love track. When you see those, me too. When you she's see everybody fly. Yeah. I love track. Dude, I love watching the fucking. Um, Is fighting in the Olympics? Like wrestling. Fighting? wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling. Yeah. Those wrestlers are nuts. nuts. Yeah. I love watching. A lot of them go to the UFC. It's like it's like chess. Wrestling is like yeah. chess. Yeah. You're just constantly trying Ooh. to. Go ahead. Go ahead go Gymnastics go ahead. is fun to watch. Sorry, Gymnastics bad. is sick. So cool. Tumbling. Sorry. Dudes are all built. Tumbling. They all, they all <laughs> the forearms. Like He's fucking, messaging uh, them all. You want to get on stage? <laughs> they they, me are, of they <laughs> are jacked, though. They, like, are. they have very like good shape. Yeah. Because their muscles Natties. are just like, I don't know. It's crazy. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah, ready. So I only had one question that came to my mind this week. Yeah. Um, what is that? And you can chime in if you've, if you've done this activity. Ooh. So... Um, First item you ever stole and why? Oh, I can't find it. Okay, probably the first item I've ever stolen is definitely maybe Talk like a cheeseburger from the fucking cafeteria or some shit. Say, nice. Okay. Maybe. No, no, actually. No, dude. It was. I fucking stole a. Um, I stole this like. Do you remember those juice? The, it was like a cylinder, fuck, like a bug juice, jamba juice. What, you guys remember those? Like. It was like a green or a oh, blue juice. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was at a store one time and I asked my mom and I was super young. I was probably like five, six years old. Damn, um, nice. I remember it so much because of this. <laughs> and she, I was like, Mom, can I get that? And she's like, no, you can't. So then I stole it. I grabbed it, put it in my fucking hoodie, walked out with it, opened it in the car thinking she would know that yeah. I would, like, I could, she would hear it open. Yeah. And uh, she made me return it. And I thought I was gonna, like that young. I thought I was going to get fucking arrested and shit. And that's why it's in my mind. I can just picture it to this day. And you took it back? I, you didn't even keep the steal? No, dude. I fucking, she made me take it back and <laughs> go it return it. And I'd go, I'd go fucking pay for it. Yeah. yeah. So you paid for that, but I That's stole it because I got I got away and I took a sip out of it, and then she <laughs> caught me. Someone just drank Lance, that. Lance does that seven it. times at grocery store. Hey, right? hey, hey, I will <laughs> say though, I will drink say, some walking around <laughs> on prep, dude. One time smart, on prep, smart. I was craving something sweet when I was at the grocery That's store on prep, genius. so I went down to the fucking uh, the sugar free whipped cream and I grabbed one out of the fucking thing and I was like, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You guys are psychopaths. I would do that when with he, the pastries. I would grab the when, donuts and eat. <laughs> of course you would. Of course you would. I used, to go to, to I used to go to Quick Trip and grab one of the little glazers and just plop it in and go to the back. <laughs> clip this shit. Clip this shit. You can't, you can't incriminate yourself. I, uh, it was a great time. It's a donut. It's the first time I took fruit gushers from Walmart in like eighth grade. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. that's a pop, great steal. Pop the box and you just like take a couple. Oh, yeah. you did it yeah. that yeah. way. Yeah, that's hilarious. But my Smart. friend... He took a DVD. We're like eighth grade, and we were about Ballsy. to walk out the doors, and these two like undercover Walmart security people stopped us. Oh <gasps> damn! I Dude, they that they have those people. Yeah, they terrifying. pulled us into the room. They're like, "What did you guys take?" And we're like, "Nothing." And then they, <laughs> they, obviously they found out, and like damn. our parents had to come pick us up. Oh damn! Uh, but never again. I learned my lesson, and yeah, that so, literally that would fix a kid. Real quick. My yeah. my dad caught me stealing one time when he was a cop. Um, so. When I was a senior in high school, yeah, um, before track practice and before football practice, we would all leave. We'd go to this one uh, gas station, and there was, like, this little section of the gas station where the protein bars and this, the granola bars where there was not a camera in this little, like, secluded area. Yeah. So what I would do, I would do, I would steal so much shit by doing this. So I would like, I would kneel down, and so I'm in, I'm in my shit, like my stuff. Uh, it's about to go to track practice, so I'd have shorts on and I'd have compression shorts. Okay, so underneath them. Yeah. So then I would like kneel down and I would be looking at these protein bars and slowly be taking them, putting under my shorts, <laughs> under my compression <laughs> shorts. So I would do that, and I would, dude, I would, my fucking friends would pay me to steal them shit. Oh my god. Oh, uh, dude, I was, I was sly with that stuff, and I would just buy like a couple, one or two things to make it look like I was getting something. So we go there one day, <laughs> senior year, and I had no idea. Um, that might like there was a complaint about shit being stolen from that place, you know. Oh man! And oh, my dude, my do inventory. And so my dad showed up when he was on duty, um, and he showed up because they were figuring out when some of the stuff was going missing. It was after school, and my dad, I was kneeling down, putting stuff under there, and I look to my left, and there's boots right there. And I look up, and it's my fucking dad. And he says, "Get in the fucking car right oh, now!" Oh my god! You oh doing yeah! Yup, yep, right, dude. It was it was fucking bad. It was. I didn't steal shit for a while after that. I mean, I've never stolen shit after that, huh? I uh, kicked 
I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna age myself here. Right. You old fuck. Back so it might not, fart. It might not be the first thing I stole, but it's a memorable one. Um, Call of Duty came out. Okay. And nice. I, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> I couldn't afford it, but it Good was dog. at Blockbuster to rent. Oh, I love oh. Blockbuster. Dude, that's oh. and yeah, I saw I, it, and yeah. I was like, yeah. right. so I did the rental, and I had like change, and I like slapped that shit up on the counter. I was like, this one. And uh, <laughs> I rented it, and then I put an old DVD in the case. Nice. That oh like was damn, that's smart. Was because like for some reason it was like mainly silver, and so I put a DVD in there, diabolical. and then I returned it and kept Call of Duty, and I was like, "Wow, diabolical!" Yeah, mother. Bro. That's I don't smart. have I don't have thirty five ninety nine. Definitely could have games for only thirty five bucks. It was you? crazy. I tried doing that exact same thing at the one in my hometown, and they always opened it up like when you returned it. The dude uh, took the job super fucking serious. Yeah. Fuck and he'd them. crack it, look it open, and they had the photo cover of like every yep. movie as the disc That's cover. That's usually uh, how it was. But so I, I was like, fuck. Mine was super silver, and I returned <laughs> it after hours. I, I got caught. I, 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 I rode my bike there to return it, and it was after hours, so they're closed. <laughs> so you just did the Dropbox return, and yeah. I was like, <laughs> y'all want to know what I'm gonna call of Duty now. So now, now that we're talking about all this stuff that we're, we stole, I I <laughs> probably I'm about to trump you guys. Now it's shit I stole. Now it's bumping up. <laughs> so What's that the first thousand dollar thing you stole. Oh no, this is this is a couple grand. Oh my god. Of course. Okay, so it wasn't Kia. brand new though. So hypothetically, yeah, these are oh, I'll, I'll fucking say haven't stole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so back in uh, high school, so I'm I'm big into waterfall hunting. I love fucking duck hunting. Um, this jump. one lake that I would hunt, okay? It would be me and my buddy would hunt this lake. We would never, ever see anybody hunt this lake. Yep. We would slay fucking ducks on this lake. And I was like, man, like, it's a private lake. I can't get a fucking boat on there. There's no boat launch. I can only, like, I, we were bringing my canoe through the woods to get to this lake. Yeah. So this one time, um, I was like, we were hunting, and it was, the sun was hitting this one side of the lake a little differently, and I saw something on the other side. I was like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, when I got done hunting, I canoed over there. And it was a fucking duck boat blind. Like, I'm talking, it was a like a oh, big-ass pontoon that had been shoved into the reeds, like, blind built up on it and everything. And I'm like, huh, the ducks never fly over here, okay? Never seen somebody hunt this thing before, and it looks pretty fucking decent. Okay, and I'm talking a full-on 18-foot pontoon boat, <laughs> okay? Like, I'm not saying a little fucking boat. Like, I have a 14-foot, like, 15-foot duck boat. This thing was huge, okay? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, there's no motor on it. What am I going to do? I'm like, okay, I'm going to go fucking get a motor from my house. All right, so I came back the next weekend, got out there. This thing was like, hadn't been used in so long, but it was floating, good good condition. Like It probably had sat there for a couple seasons because it was just in the mud so much. Yeah. So I dug this fucking thing out, okay, put a motor on it, took this bitch to the other side of the fucking lake, used it for the entire hunting season, Made my own trail through the woods, like cut down shit so I could back my truck up in there with a pontoon trailer. Stole that bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Bro, I slayed fucking. Some dude probably came back like a year later like, yeah. what the fuck? Bro, and the thing, dude, the that wild thing. Wives. It, I, I literally, yeah. I took so many people out hunting on that boat because it, it, it would fit like six people. So I took like all my buddies out there. I'm like, yeah, I just got this pontoon boat. With that fucking, I didn't want to say like where I got Bartered it. Bartered with him pretty good. Got a good deal. <laughs> and I made, dude, I slayed out of that thing. Did you oh caught? Fuck no. Still got that bitch, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn, props. Jesus. Yep. Uh, yep. Not going to say where the hell that was, though. Yeah. Yep. AI will get you one day. Let's do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, do you um, have one? Ah, shit. Let me think. Yeah, we didn't ask you. I think it was probably like a Hershey bar or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting this. That's I like, guess, oh, my girlfriend's virginity. gave me a second fry at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't That's tell awesome. him. Stole Girl, of speaking chicken. of McDonald's, I've been thinking about Zach lately. I've been watching uh, yeah. Eric the Electric videos on YouTube. You know who it? that is? No. Eric the Electric? You ever oh, heard of him? yeah. You Eric know who he is, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got, I got, I'm got. i hooked on him now. He's the, the biker guy, right? He bikes? He he bikes, but he does massive food challenges. Yeah. He'll eat. Like, the one I watched this morning during cardio. food Oh, yeah. okay. Crap. I've seen him. This guy, yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's Reddit. Red oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, um, he's had Reddit like before, yeah. 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 He's know, fucking awesome, just dude. Just plowing chicken He what? eats so much food. No, he'll yeah. do food challenges. He'll do, like, I let my, t he'll, like, program into his Tesla. I let my Tesla choose where I ate for 24 hours straight, and he'd have to order. He would, like, you do a I, on his Tesla, he would, like, press hours? the button, like, uh, I'm hungry, and it would randomly bring him to a restaurant, and he would order everything on the menu and eat it all. Everything? Everything. Everything. The one I watched this morning, he did a 10,000 calorie challenge 
for 10 days straight. Every single day for 10 days straight. <laughs> How is he not fat? He's not, bro. It's wild. Those cycles. Is he fast? Those cycle, they cycle. Like, oh, does a ton of activity. Yeah, yeah does, I don't know. Like, and then does he fast like in between I'm challenges? Sure probably. I'm, sure. I'm not I'm sure. sure. Probably. probably does some yeah. sort I'm not, of like. I'm not totally sure, but bro, that needs the prep. You need to prep your stomach if you're gonna do that. Well, shit. that's what we're gonna do with you after next week. Yeah. Well, I told Cam uh, for Junior Nationals because I was watching it. We're gonna do a donut challenge. Me and Cam are watching. It. I'm like, dude, how much would you hate me if I fucking did this okay, yeah, right like, after I go, bro? And he's like, dude, honestly, I wouldn't hate you. I would just say uh, you're stupid. And, then, and that's all he said. <laughs> we're gonna do Jesus. one. We'll do one food challenge as a team. I want to do a ten thousand calorie challenge. I'll do it. Okay, let's do it. How would we? <laughs> we'll follow you. Boom. <laughs> We're just out of breath, fat. <laughs> you see me dying on like the ground. He's getting vainier. No, you so. guys. I feel like you guys would be really good at it. I would struggle because my stomach is so small right now. Yeah, we'd, we'd probably that would probably be a walk in the park. I'd Test have to. It. Yeah. I'd have to Am use I, a lot of glaciers. Dude, crumble. To get that yeah. You guys get crumble that fills crumble. you up though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, though. What are yeah. we eating for ten thousand calories? Glacier donuts for yeah, sure. They're easy to compress. They're light. It's gonna get heavy quick though. I would say couple chocolate chip muffins. To start the morning before oh, the gym yeah. with some donuts That's and like coffee. Eat a That's mix over two thousand right, right there. there. I would just go get fucking five we'll five slices place. of cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. That's five k right there. Really? Over five k. Oh, That's good. Each one's one. a thousand. Oh, I could do that. And not oh, that big. I could plow yeah, cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> All right, so we are. We do a game of uh, disc golf, and then we can work out later that day. Yeah. Let's do it. Two different activities. Oh, dude, I'm using lots that. of insulin. Let's do that. That, that way we like can keep. You know what I mean? We're gonna otherwise. go disc golf midday. Hey, hey we'll feel better most of it. it. Yeah. We'll feel After I go pro, we're doing it by the pool. Yep. Oh, yeah. Eat. I'm not going to the pool on a 10,000 calories. Yeah, fuck no. Oh, they're just breathing heavy. Just, so, <laughs> hey, lady. Just, <laughs> just floating in the water. Bro, I will say. <laughs> Belly after, up like a little fucking. After <laughs> Junior Nationals, Cam told me, he's like, yeah, dude, for two days, just go off planet, eat whatever you want. Because he's like, you know, I got to yeah, pull some weight off. Back yeah. And, and I will sushi. say, bro, how fucking, like, it's so wild how much, like, your body will change once it's at homeostasis for so long. Because I would have, like, one Reese's peanut butter cup. It would taste so fucking good, and then I want to take a nap. Like yeah. I had, like it's just so, like I felt like shit just from processed sugars. Yep. So like you guys are gonna have a breeze. I'm gonna have to like train myself just to start. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You can do it. I can do it. We'll do I'm it. gonna do it. I might pass out for like two days straight though. <laughs> it's worth. That's it. okay. that will be worth it. But anyway, the food coma will be real. Yeah. All right. Around the table. No. no. We're gonna wrap oh, her up. Wrap her up. Yeah. Anything for your corner? Around the table. Um, not too much. We're happy to have Nick back, but we have to send him off with one good, more good wishes and good luck. But you probably won't need it. <laughs> Definitely won't need it. Actually. Yes, <laughs> Definitely won't need, won't need it. it. Ah, <laughs> most likely good. Well, yeah, we'll have a pro on the next episode. Or yes, sir. By the time he gets back, so yep. it'll be cool. The journey um, is almost there. But yeah, we're gonna have fun today. We're gonna go lift and bark a little bit. Bark a little bit. And bark. Hey, we train at Metro. What yeah. time? Yeah, Metro. Right after. We're gonna eat and go. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to go back and change them. What's well, your final thought? Anyway, um, I'm <laughs> glad to be back, dude. Um, I will say it just—it's it, honestly—I um, was really looking forward to this this week. Yeah, and uh, being back here, um, give you a little taste of what, what what's to come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad to be back here, dude. And uh, I appreciate you guys a lot just for me being in my prep zone and you know secluding myself a lot. So true, true friendship right here. So yep. love you, buddy, love Lance. Thanks, guys. Uh, no big problem. fights tonight if you're a fight fan. Yep. Big cards. Oh, shit. UFC 303. We have Pantoa and Yuri Prashka. We have Diego Lopez versus uh, Brian Ortega. That's going to be a banger. And we've got uh, yeah. the Irishman, the undefeated, versus. Uh, that good. I don't know what his nickname is, but uh, it's just going to be a great card. It's a great card if you're a, if you're a sports fan. Yeah, super are, excited. Are you watching the fights? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you watching them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you guys meeting up for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to his house. Here. Are you More coming? Come. I'm, gonna, I'm going to my dad's birthday. for. I'm going to try and get there right after today? training. What? And then I'm going to try and uh, jump back. What time, do, what time do the fights start? Uh, 7 o'clock. But Alexis the main card typically starts around 9. I haven't been I'm, to your crib yet, so I'll be there. Okay. Bet. Unless we're uh, watching them here. Either uh, We'll probably do a Lance's because if I'm at my parents, I might not be ready in time. So you guys can start Cool. Well, we'll be there. All right, fight night tonight. All right, fight night tonight around the corner uh, to finalize everything. Welcome back, Nick. Finish fucking strong. The yeah. rest of you boys, work hard, play hard, get pumped, get a good workout in, listen to the pod. We'll catch you next week. Talk to you later. Deuces.